Hi, it's Anna Jyoti. I'm just going to show you my uh, mallets for the gongs. Um, I've got my 28 inch gong here that I'm having a bit of time with. Um, these are Peisty mallets. They're, they're called M3 mallets. And typically what would, what would be sort of played with a 24, 28 inch, even, I mean, you can play these with, with the, the larger gongs, but um, with these larger, softer heads, you get a more deeper, bassier tone. Oh yeah. You find the sweet spot of the gong. I know where the sweet spot of this gong is. larger peisty heads. I've got these two, these are from, these are handmade from Mark Swan. They're quite, they're quite firm, but they still give quite a bassy tone. is a Mike Bolter gong mallet, a GM4, and it's really solid. It's almost like crocheted and woven, and it's really good. It gives a... You can hear the difference between that and maybe... that type of the um, of the Mike Bolter. Uh, this is also very solid and tightly woven. So it's a very um, it's a very sharp sound that comes from these more solid mallets. Oh and here's a baby one as well. Here's a little baby one. these in gong baths too much. It's a, it's a, it's a particular quality of sound uh, that you're getting and not so not so relaxing but um, you're getting very much the the true edge of the gong when you're using these harder mallets. And then of course there's all the flute Flumies, which are these? Oh, they're so sweet, aren't they? They look like lollipops. I tend to use the flumies on the back of the gong, not so much on the front of the gong. I'll do just one on the front of the gong so you can hear because the back of the gong is quite close to the bookcase. But I use these flumies on the back of the gong. And they give that lovely vibration of sound that's like a wailing. works well on my bigger gong. So yeah, I don't quite like to use them on the front of the gong because sometimes they make a few marks, but they're very cool. Different frequency that's created with them. They're sort of like rubbery. And I've left, I've left the best till last because these are my um, Ollie Hess. Ollie Hess gongs, and there's no, yeah, there's a little logo there to show you the Ollie Hess. You can't really see it on that one too much. But yeah, these are Ollie Hess, they're made in Germany. Um, these are beautiful gongs. Mallets, excuse me. But I 
like these in conjunction with the with the larger piesty as well. So I do mix and match. like my little traveling mallets um, always sort of fit into my bag really well and this is a this this gong this 28 inch gong is really easy to move around it's on this c-shaped stand it's really simple to it goes in the back of the car really easy the 32 is also portable but the uh, stand that I've got is a, a bigger uh, operation but this is really portable and on cue the dogs are barking. Anybody that knows my fine tuning channel will know that the dogs bark in every single video I make. Recommendation, and I only bought because these are a little, these are a little bit pricey. That I, I only bought one of the medium. I think that's a medium. These are small. Um, I've got two smalls and one medium from Ollie Hess. And I think when, um, when I'm feeling, or it's my birthday, or Christmas time, or I'm feeling ready to spend a little bit more money on mallets. I'm going to buy a second of those because that really is a brilliant, brilliant mallet. So um, if you're buying, if my recommendation would be two of each, so two small and two medium. But because I've got the two of these Peisty, I kind of work with these together. But this is, it's a super. The reason why this is so super is because I think these are made out of ash or beach. Um, but they're, they're, they're light, these are heavy, these are pretty heavy, these mallets. They're fabulous, but they're quite heavy. Um, these are, are lightweight, but have, have that strong um, boom. Um, so I would buy two of each of the, two small, two medium, and that would be, that would be fine. Um, when, when I got the, um, the 28 inch, the person that I got it from very kindly gave me their collection of mallets. So um, I inherited a load of mallets as well, uh, which is fantastic. So that's that's the the, the mallet introduction and uh, my 28 inch symphonic gong. And I've got a 32 inch symphonic as well that plays very nicely. Um, any questions, just pop them in the comments. And uh, yeah, lots of love. <laughs> 